instead of instead of what's next, I think we might circle back to it, what we was talking a little bit. We nearly got into it there uh, during that one, but um, the voice. So we're uh, yeah, we're less than a week out from the vote. Early votes have started, um, and Saturday is or the coming Saturday is uh, D Day, I suppose you'd say, for the voice. Um, referendum. Um, it's been interesting. We've done, we've talked about this before, you know, about the the arguments for and against and all those sorts of things. But it's just been interesting to watch. Um, since then, the, the change, I suppose, in where the media has has branched off. The No campaign has kept up what it has been doing the whole time. Um, the yes has gone away from trying to uh, counter argue the no side of it or and put forward their their view to completely um, challenging the lies that the no vote has put forward um, the campaign has gone into um, or, or changed to just completely discredit every talking point that the no campaign has put forward and and prove where the lies are and the sad thing is that 90 percent of it is lies um and it's a shame that the 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 trend is um still where it is despite that and i think it's just um indicative of the way People view the media and, and politics at the moment where they'll just, it doesn't matter how much you disprove or prove that something is a lie. Uh, people are just going to say, oh, no, well, this is the way it is. But the other side of it is um, that people have made their minds up before points have been made, and, and that's based off several factors. Um, some of it being just um, not educated on what. The voice is or what the the proposal is uh people trying to get caught up in the technicalities of it which can't come into effect until they have a decision um those technicalities being well what's it going to look like um how's it going to be structured none of that can actually be put together until you have that that uh, referendum being voted yes um which has been one of the um, plays from the no campaign to try and bring in that um, questionability of the whole thing. Um, they've been playing on that, and, and instead of people, it's their slogan. yeah, instead of if people you don't looking know, at vote no, yes. just, can you imagine being proud of that? It's like, hey, oh, do you man. understand what's going on? Be, oh no, yeah. well, vote for us. How about you be and, proud and, of and ignorant, there. being ignorant? Like yeah. it's um, they should be trying to encourage their side. If you're if you believe in 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 voting no and i have there are and here's the truth there are people out there that do have some um beliefs uh, in voting yep. no that i that i can talk with and I, we can have a good conversation with but then there are people that like oh, I, uh, one of our friends um we had a chat who remained nameless but said basically he didn't know anything about the actual voice he didn't know about the over a decade of working with communities to, to and the Uluru statement from the heart or any mm. he didn't know anything about that he didn't know about the constitutional change he didn't know about the idea of it just been a an advisory he had no idea about that no advice advisory group consultation stuff at all he said oh i seen a, a drag queen um sing a song in a yes campaign ad and i was like no nope, not for me i'm voting uh, and basically just, had made up his mind in a way to say, oh, you are on that side of politics? Well, I'm voting no. Which is ridiculous, and isn't it? Yeah. Like, And then moved to claim, he said, oh, well, it's also very divisive. It's like, well, you're literally being divisive. You're, you're The divisive <laughs> argument has sad. been pulled apart so many times. And the, the interesting thing that I found, um, it was mentioned to be... Um, by a friend of mine, and I looked into it. If you have a look at the referendum from when women, they, they put the referendum forward for women to be able to vote, you can copy and paste the no's arguments from that, right, and change it from the voice to women being able to vote. 
like that that's how pathetic their their and shallow their campaign is um that the talking points are all the same the arguments are all the same um plus or minus a few and people us you know are looking at this and going oh yeah you know this is this is different to that it, it's not like we voted up and i don't know that you would find too many people now that would say oh women shouldn't vote right and that got through but it was challenged very much the same back then um with the bigoted arguments and 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 bullshit because 90 percent of the no campaigns argument is bullshit right um they have the liberal government have all but come out and said that the, the whole reason they are pushing for the no is it's all political right and then that's sad we knew it was going to happen but the fact that people um are buying what they are saying and not recognizing that that's their whole agenda is is the political side of it um and this could potentially get down be voted down um is bad but it it annoys me that if the no campaign gets through it's going to be done almost purely off lies and, and that just shows that it's a weak argument against it if you have to lie about it you've got a piss poor argument to go with there has been and, and i've seen the no campaign say this as well and it's just pretty much uh projection i'm yet to see a a good reason for no even like the ones that you were talking about the f before with the uh sovereign beliefs and we're not talking yeah, sovereign indi- citizens yeah, we're treaty, talking about it's indigenous not, it's not people going far enough um it's yeah it, this is a white man's cure to a, a, a you know a black a bigger problem problem yeah. yeah yeah so so there's a lot of p and i can entertain that that because that's coming from i again, can see that me listening can... to that community and considering it <laughs> and their argument is yeah. is not oh it's divisive or it's this they're saying that they they do not recognize um oh, to a degree yes they're There's saying it's divisive. Like bruce shillingworth and, oh. and, and, a, and a couple of people out there i've seen that if like yeah they're, they're, they're trying to divide us on race and it's like bro like, please just race is mentioned in the constitution already right it's yeah. it's already there that's been debunked for anybody in the no campaign that's going to stand there and go oh, it introduces race into the fucking constitution it's already there you clearly haven't fucking read it um shut the fuck up right yeah. but the, the, the sovereign argument there in a lot of those communities is that they don't recognise the, the constitution as it is because it was forced upon communities. So therefore, any change to it, they don't agree with, right? Yeah. I still don't see that as a genuine reason to vote no because at no stage are we going to see Australia go back to a purely Indigenous country. It's, it's not going to happen as much as they probably want it to. It, it's not going to happen, right? So this is, a, this is a step forward and to vote against the interests of the Indigenous people because of that uh, sovereignty argument. I just don't see that as productive um, and, and shooting yourself in the foot. You know, the old saying, cut your nose off to spite your face. Yeah, um, there's plenty of sayings. It's like, don't let, don't let um, perfection get in the way of progress. Yeah. You know, I mean, those things you were, you're after, sovereignty, treaty. Like, this is the way to move forward towards the, us. Yeah. Yeah. This, doesn't, uh, this doesn't stop that from happening. We, that's no. that argument, that discussion, that debate still happens. It's got a know? better chance of happening least, now, exactly. right? It's yeah. got a much yeah. better chance of happening with the proposal uh, for The Voice. So, yes, they're, they're the only ones that I'll sort of entertain and you know yeah you could say that i'm being biased but I, even looking at this whole thing if it did not add up if things weren't right then i would certainly be on the other side of the fence yeah. but um there's just been too much bullshit wrapped around this this no campaign that people are, are, are eating up and a lot of the people that i've spoken to and it, it frustrates me They'll say, oh, I'm voting no. And each of these conversations, mind you, I have not raised. They have brought it up. It seems to be um, 
a, a very big topic of conversation as it should be, but it's almost aggressive the way these conversations start. The way the conversations have started for me is, what are you voting in the voice? I'm voting no. Um, and all but I don't want to talk to anyone that's voting yes, right? So the, the conversation's pointless to start with. But once I've brought, got into the conversation and I've usually led him by going, okay, so, so why are you voting no? Without giving my standpoint on it. And each time they'll bring up the talking points, it's divisive. In the moment you say, well, how is it? How do you see it as divisive? There's nothing. They haven't given it a further thought. Um, or they'll lead down to the, oh, it's putting race into the constitution. Well, the moment you mentioned that there is a whole clause in there relating to the government can make decisions on uh, based on race, and that's already written in the constitution, um, that fumbles and they move to the next point. Similar to what you're talking about with uh, the right wing over in America, where they just go from the next one to the next one to the next one. It doesn't matter how many times you they don't recognise that you've that you've defeated in their their talking point. They just move to the next thing, and they'll just keep diverting. It's not, diverting, it's diverting. not about learning for them. It's not about it's it's. Yeah. I, I'm I either win or lose, right? And they refuse to accept defeat, which is pathetic, in my opinion. And it's it's so frustrating that that is where we are now with society, um, where they've got all of the information at their fingertips. Yes, they get fed a lot of bullshit information, but it's not hard to filter that and, and work through to see what's true and what's not. Right? It, you know, within a matter of minutes, you can read multiple articles talking about the same thing and decipher, okay, what I've just been told is absolute fucking bullshit and move on. Um, There's so much information about this out there. That's another thing. People are like, ah, oh, look... I I don't. I just don't understand. So I'm voting no. It's like, well, please, like you know, why vote even? Like you know, get out there, be informed, understand, make your own, and, and make your own choice. There are so many um, great places you can go and double check. Uh, go go to neutral sources. Yep. And and, and, and fact check people if you, if you need to t talk about it, but be open about it. And 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 when someone actually. You know, changes your mind on some aspect. It's like, oh look, I didn't realise that was, um, that was the case. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll look in a bit growth, deeper. Which growth is not weak, yeah. and and that's yeah. that's grow, growing is not a sign of weakness. It's yeah. it's growing, and and you're a better person for accepting that. Yes, okay, I was, I may have been wrong here, and I've grown from that. Like, I just just putting the brick wall up and saying, no, I'm right and you're wrong because. Or I'm voting this way because, and and I'm going to get down into it. But if the only reason you're voting, despite all of the uh, lies that have been proven to be lies, um, and you're still looking at it, going no, I'm voting no because I don't want black people to have, you know, a, a voice to parliament. Then that's sorry, that's fucking racist, racist undertones, racism, and it's that's the d divisive of it right at the moment there is not a, an even playing field when it comes to um, indigenous Australians having that representation within the government this gives that equal playing field so that yes we can start to be all equal Australians but at the moment we're not so to have that argument that oh we're all Australians we all have the same fucking representation we don't this is going to start opening up that doorway to so it's it's going to be interesting to watch. Um, it's been frustrating. It's been annoying. And there's been a few days there where people have gone and talked to me. And I've just said, look, I, I haven't got the energy for this today um, because it's it does zap your energy. It's exhausting. Straining. Going through and, and, and reading some of this shit and just shaking your head going, what the fuck? No, like well, People I love and respect. There's people actually that I really like. And that uh, and cherish their opinion, and pe you know people I know are good people and yeah. are not racist. They're going, ah, oh, look, I just don't understand. It's it's the same thing again, and and I I really just wish that. Uh, and again, this Saturday, everybody, it's on. Mm. Like we're recording this one exactly one week, yeah. 
um, b- before it. I don't know when it's going to release. Hopefully, we get it in there a couple of days. But please, yeah, owe yourself, owe to yourself and to your community and to, to everyone else to just be well informed before you do it. I don't think excuse of, oh, look, I don't understand, so I'm just voting no. It wasn't explained to me. Go out there, understand, okay? It's, it's um, not a great deal to not understand. Yeah. There's three points to what the yeah. voice proposition is. It talks about it being a body that will advise the government on purely Indigenous issues um, that will be made up by Indigenous people selected by the government, right? And it will be in the Constitution so that the change of government cannot remove this body, right? As it has done, in the, we, we spoke about this before, but there has been similar groups in the past that have advised the government on Indigenous because it wasn't in the constitution, change of government came and they removed the group. So having it in the constitution, this group will be there despite changes of governments um, in the future, advising the government on purely indigenous issues. Nobody's coming to steal your land. Nobody is coming to fucking claim back uh, land rights and all those sorts of things. There's not billions and billions of dollars that are going towards Indigenous people or that are going to be siphoned into these communities, right? Because that's another big one that's been debunked. And that's yep. purely come out of uh, the Indigenous Expenditure Report, um, which if you actually read that report, it shows where that money goes. Yes, it talks about... And they don't about... claim any more welfare than, than anyone else in that same socioeconomic there is, um, barrier. Why? There's no there's, difference. When you look at the socioeconomic no barriers yep. on, on, on welfare... Um, Indigenous Australians make up the one of the smallest percentages. Yep. Right. So that's been debunked. The stereotype. Yeah. When it comes to Indigenous Australians, um, their percentage of society is one of the smaller groups. So it's you know it's been debunked. It's bullshit. Um, if you want to look at that report, it's in there. Right. Where that expenditure goes to, the majority of that money goes to social welfare uh, programs that everybody benefits from, but yet it's coming out of the Indigenous expenditure fund, right? So, um, but as well, it's, 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 get, it's not get it through to you, everybody. It's not binding. There's no legislation that gets produced by the voice. It's, it's our MPs, everyone that Australian votes for goes out there and they bring legislation. It's just similar to how it would be at your work, everybody. If someone is going to affect your community or your workspace or your, the safety of your surroundings, you need to be consulted. There could be something that someone brings up that you haven't thought of because you're not in that it's community. No different, and not it's it. no different from a safety, safety committee, which you have at exactly. work. Exactly. Uh, it's you know, not a binding. roster committee, if you're in rostering type things, right? There's got to be consultation. You get advice before you put something together so that you can have the best workplace in this circumstance, yeah. the best country that you can and the yeah. best programs for your people. That is simply all it is, right? No one likes it when the boss makes changes without consulting the, the people who are actually on, the, you know, living through this. Mm. So it's the exact same thing. And again, in the end of the day, the boss, like they always have before and after this, are going to make that decision. So there's no power in it, like in that way. And there's no legislative power. And that's another thing I've heard people saying, oh, they're going to bring in all this legislation, like again, the land. No, they can't. <laughs> they, they they're really not can't going to. Because the people it's... you vote into power are the ones that make the legislation. We're just asking that they consult with the communities that the, um, and this specific community is, it m- might be where some people are having a problem with. Um, but the truth is, they were here. We came in, and they they had their ways. They had their cultures. Many different things uh, all around the country, and we came. Well, we came in, but the Westminster British Parliament system came in. It is still here today, and we have to figure out a way to live to live together. And if we have to listen to them before we make decisions in our process, that you know, I, I don't think that's too much. People. No. Yeah, and it's and that's not. another thing as well. The they are only being, uh, they are only advising on, um, uh, policy and legislation and Relating changes to that will happen to that to their communities. It's nothing yeah. to do with us, dude. Um, it's, it's what I can't understand. Like, if we if want to fear... change our system, we can. If we want the... to change that Westminster Parliament system from the Commonwealth, we can. That's mm. a different thing, but which we rejected before because they didn't weren't under. 
it, we didn't understand which type of republic it's going to be, so I'm just going to vote no. Yeah. That was literally why, oh, what kind of republic is it going to be? Ah, oh, no, it's going to give a president too much power. I'd rather the queen. And that's what happened. People are like, oh, if it's not broke, don't fix it's the same, it. Same because for you, points. it's not broke. Yeah. But um, we're trying to fix it. And again, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you know more about this than me, so I'll let you oh, like, yeah, let it's you just, out a bit. Um, yeah, yeah well, the, the talking points have been the, the big thing and the, the fear tactics, conspiracy theories, all of that bullshit. There's three points to it. Have a look at it. The structure cannot happen until it has a decision, right? So if it gets up, that's when the structure will, will come in. So it might end up being 15 people. It could be 12 people. It could be fucking eight people, right? The structure will be uh, put together. Once the decision is made, that structure can change over time. So it might start off as 12 people. In 10 years' time, it might be eight people, right? So if you're getting caught up on the... the um, technicality side of it, that's going to change and it hasn't been put together. You're not going to find an answer as to how it's going to be put together because that can't happen yet until there is a decision. Um, so, please, in, in the next coming week, if you're still undecided or you're still not sure, look at it for yourself and look at not just one source, multiple sources. Um, and and I would honestly I would start at looking at what the proposal is, and from there you'll find a lot of the answers to a lot of the questions that that people have. Um, and then if you're not sure, from there you might have questions about right. I will. How how does this go into the constitution, and what effect does it have into the constitution? You, you've got a pathway to go rather than just diving straight into potentially the, the bullshit lies um, that are coming out of it because there is so, so many. There's three points. I don't know how th um, three points in a proposal can branch out to a million ways that this is going to affect They muddied people. the waters. Oh, That's man. what they did. They, 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 they literally, they muddied the waters so much that now it's not three things that we, that the yes campaign has to deal with like like mm. you said before the yes campaign ha couldn't just say hey everybody this is the voice this is what it means because now they have had to invest everything else into dispelling and helping people understand the truth it's just it, and then the pride like i was watching q a the other day mm. and you had the the no campaign there they were asked they said hey like what do you think about one of these people wearing a no campaign shirt out there talking to people on the streets lying saying oh yeah this is going to lead to reparations this is going to lead to this, this is going to lead to that that's what the, that's what this is it's backdoor for that it's like what do you think about your campaigners lying to people and he said oh look it happens on both sides it's not good and they're like no could you address that could you tell them not to it's like oh look you know the yes campaign were you know doing this and that and they were very quiet the last couple of years and it's like no just just can you not condemn lies yeah and and to have your slogan be if you don't know vote no it's just so, it, it just, it's, it's nearly admitting that we want to pull the, the wool over your eyes. Yep. We've got a yeah, weak, it's a piss poor, weak ignorance. argument, and we're going to lie about it to get it over. Like, I, I'm, one thing that I am dreading is when I go to vote, you know, the people that stand out the front of yeah, the polling yeah, yeah. areas. I just, I've got to, going to have to try my hardest just not to get into an argument with them if I hear them spurting lot and it's not going to do good for yeah. either side but there's a part of me that's just going to go nah fuck you like if it's on that day that i'm i'm tired um i've had enough or there's i'm getting because i don't know about you but when i go to vote i just like to walk in yeah I, i'm not a do my vote and get out i hate having people can't and throw shit in my face um, well i know they've I got a place like i agree with you but I have to get me democracy sausage before I leave. That's different. Hang on, that's different, right? Okay, the, I'll, I'll, the I'll democracy. Sure. No, I'm talking sure. about pamphlets, sure. right? So when right. you get your democracy sausage, you've already been up, you've voted, you're on your way out, right? You can yep. anybody can come and talk to you at that point. If I'm walking in there to vote, right? And I know some people might be different. I've got my decision made, and yep. the last thing I want is people chucking fucking pamphlets in my face. Um. Or stepping in front of you. I had a bloke step in front of me once. Yeah. 
and it was the only time that I've been aggressive there. I was walking in, this bloke stepped in front of me with his pamphlet and was holding it. And I said, mate, get the fuck out of my road. Yeah. And I went to walk around and he stepped across and I went, fucking move, right? Or I'm going to kick you. And he moved out the road and he said, oh, you don't have to be like that. So I can't, <laughs> you know, you instigated this. Don't step in front of people to do that shit. You're, you're simply there as, as, a, as a representative. Do not fucking do that. But... But it's I obnoxious think I spoke, behavior too. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Just set up a booth saying, "I'm voting no." Ask me anything or whatever, and people might come up to you and be like, yeah. "You know, like, why well, you've you know, help it's, me? It's the, you need help? Any it's questions?" It's almost running the gauntlet there. Yeah, yeah just to go and vote. Yeah. You, you've got to run the gauntlet of of fuckwits just to get in to vote. Yeah. Like, and I, it's all worth the democracy of it all and the it democracy is. sausage of it all. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's going to be interesting to see, but what's your predictions, Dave? What's your predictions for the outcome? See, I want to be positive, and I want to say that I think it's going to get up and I'm all positive, but I just, if you, and again, it's kind of like the other, the election stuff, a lot can change, but we're down to crunch time now. It's the week. We're in, we're in, we're in a, a fucking calendar week right now. Oh, I have such a bad feeling that it's going to be no, just simply because I'm running. The no campaign is so loud. I've mm. spoken to someone, to, to a lot of people close to me that that haven't been paying attention and they feel like, oh, vote no. I had someone who's like, oh, you know, I don't think it's good for Indigenous people because I've seen Lydia Thorpe there, <laughs> so I'm going to vote no. So, you know, like, you have people that are genuinely like, oh, I want to do what's right for Indigenous people, so I trust Lydia Thorpe and Warren Mundane and Anthony Mundane. So I'm just going to vote now. So I think there's going to, there's a lot of willfully ignorant people, a lot of people that want to vote now for, and they, for the wrong reasons. And, and then there's a lot of people reason. that are just confused that are just like, oh, I see these people and these people, and maybe I should just vote now and, and not for a change that might be bad for indigenous people. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. afraid that all the misinformation is going to work and it's going to be no. Um, and I think the latest voting uh, polls have, have shown that, that it's, that the yes was in was in the lead very much so a couple of months ago, but because of the misinformation building up to this, this kind of the nose have it a bit. But I'm going to be positive and I'm going to say the yes is will inch it out, but it's not as strong. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that with any conviction. What What about you, man? Um, I'm very much the same in that thought process. The nos have been extremely vocal, saying that I'm. I'm hopeful that it's just the normal talking point where the minorities, you know, always the loudest because they've got to try and prove something. Um, and I'm hoping that the yes is confident that, you know, they've, they've done enough. And it's, it's good to see, though, um, the yes campaign actually calling out the bullshit and challenging it and, and counter-arguing bullshit and proving that, it's, that it is wrong. I think if you were just to say, no, that's a lie, um, it wouldn't have the effect. However, they're saying no, bang, this is what they're what they're referencing. It's not true. Uh, this is what it actually says. Blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, look, I, I want to be hopeful and say the yes will get up. Um, however, I'm I'm skeptical, and I have a feeling that go down. No, will go up. So sorry, you're. Sir. So you're you're leaning on no's gonna win, sadly. I am, yeah. And I'm and I am like, oh, I think you're right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do yes. But I, yeah. I, I oh, if I'm it's truthful, so... I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you, sadly. Yeah. But I'm trying to just if there's anything that hopeful to be had factor, in that, yeah, yeah. yeah. That hopeful factor, and I I just hope that a Conor um, McGregor fan, you know, I, yeah. I still think Conor McGregor can come back and be champion of the world. <laughs> That's how hopeful I am. I just hope logic <laughs> wins, you know, and, and I hope that um, yeah, we're yeah. not yeah. still that backwards as a society um, or caught up in this trap of, of lies and bullshit that we can't progress because of it. Uh, in my opinion, the Murdoch media has got so much to answer for, um, not just in this country, but a lot of countries. Yeah. And the things that they have done, especially during this campaign, are so damaging. And divisive and the divisive side of this whole thing comes from that no campaign and the lies that it's, it's spread um that the policy the, the proposal itself is not divisive but they've made it divisive 
through the channels that they've gone down to to argue against it. We're going to find out in a week, so we'll uh, we might touch base on it after Saturday and yeah, we might talk have to about do a little how bit went. of a roundup of what mm. it means now. It could yep. be like no, now what? You know, it, it has this setback stuff a long time, yeah. or does this is this an accelerant um, for a different movement? Who knows? Or it could be yes. What now? Let's hope this fucking shit works and and um, and it was worth it all, and it can help people in we'll wait and see. Positions. Yep. You can only wait and see.